Okay, so in this is still chapter five, and we are still talking about work, potential energy, and kinetic energy. But I want you to go back, and we we're going to use we're going to uh, sort of redo some of the stuff we did from uh, video two I. So I want you to go back and watch video two I, and we're going to use some chapter two stuff, and then we're going to look at it in the light of chapter five. So in two I, we had a platform. We had a balcony. We, that was uh, 4.1 meters high and we had a ball that was thrown up and down well it f we went up and then it got to the top and then it fell back down and so we said that the ball traveled hang on let me just get this out we say that the ball ended up negative 4.1 meters down below where it started and I measured off of the video that the time for that was 1.73 seconds and we knew that the acceleration was negative 9.81 meters per second squared okay and then uh, just to go back and sort of redo we have this equation for finding VI and so I want you to take a second hit pause and manipulate that equation to solve for VI okay when I do that I come up with VI equals X over T minus one half AT if you didn't get that take a second to figure out what you did what you needed to do to get that And so then I plug in my values. And then I go to my calculator. And I got negative 4.1 divided by 1.73 minus a minus, so I'm just going to make that a plus 0.81 times, oh I forgot the 0.5, sorry plus 0.5 times 9.81 times 1.73 and so I come up with VI equals 6.1 two meters per second okay and so then we can use basically any equation that we want to solve for VF and I'm going to use this one and once again I want you to manipulate that hit pause, manipulate it so that you get VF all by itself. What I come up with is I have VF is equal to VI plus AT so I get VF is equal to 6.12 meters per second minus 9.81 meters per second squared times 1.73 seconds VF is going to be I hit answer minus 9.81 times 1.73 and I get negative 10.86 meters per second okay Okay, so now let's look at this from the standpoint of energy. 
And so from the standpoint of energy, we're going to come up with three places that we're going to look at. We're going to look at the top of its flight, which is right there. We're going to look at the middle, which is right there. And we're going to look at the bottom, which is right there. <coughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that, oh, wait a second, I'm going to need it to know a mass here. Uh, my mass, because I measured the ball, was 55 grams, which is 55 grams is 0 0.055 kilograms. Okay, so for each of these three places, we're going to have the kinetic energy and the gravitational potential energy. And that's and those equations are the same all the way down, and I'm going to write them a lot of times because the more you write these equations, the better you know the equations, the better you know the equations, the better you can do physics. So practice, 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 write them down all the time. Okay, so let's start at the bottom. Okay, at the bottom, let's say that the height is zero. So I've got mg zero meters. So I'm going to say at the bottom, I'm going to have a gravitational potential energy of zero joules. And my kinetic energy is going to be from over there, it's going to be one half of 0 0.055 kilograms times negative 10.86 meters per second squared. Okay, so if I do that, I've got that loaded up on my calculator, and so I'm going to do 0 0.5 times 0 0.055 times answer squared and I get 3.24 joules. So I get a kinetic energy of 3.24 joules. Okay, now going back up here, I'm going to say my mass is 0 0.055 kilograms acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared and my height is 4.1 meters and so I'm going to get a GPE of 0 0.055 times 9.81 times 4.1 I'm going to get 2.21 joules and then my kinetic energy is going to be one half of 0 0.055 kilograms and my initial velocity was 6.12 meters per second squared so I'm going to get a kinetic energy there of 0 0.5 times 0 0.055 times 6.12 squared is 1.03 joules. Now if I add those together, I find that my total energy is going to be 3.24 joules. Which is not surprising because down here it had zero joules of potential energy and 3.24 joules of kinetic energy. Here the total energy is 3.24 joules but it's split between the kinetic energy which is 1.03 and the gravitational potential energy which is 2.2.
I'm going to continue this in the next video.